my dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ. According to the scriptures and God's plan, all the prophecies of the prophets and beloved people of God like Abraham, Isaac and Jacob, they all witnessed and believed in the creator of this universe by obeying and by doing whatever was asked by the God. God entrusted them very important and precious things that they should hand over to the next generations and worship only him and they should not have any other gods in front of him. That is why many times we hear that and we read in the Bible, God said, I am the God of Abraham and the God of Isaac and the God of Jacob. The God of our fathers has glorified his son Jesus, whom you indeed delivered up and denied before the face of Pilate. When he judged, he should be released, but denied the Holy One and the just, and desired a murderer to be granted unto you. But the author of life you killed, whom God had raised from the dead, of which we are witnesses. Here, we have to ask a serious question. Why do people neglect the important things in their lives? The world today ignored the author of life and believing in the worldly things. The people are ignoring the eternal life and resurrection and believing in the temporary life and the promises of human beings. The people are immersed in sinfulness and completely forgotten the holiness of the bodies which are the temples of God. The people have completely become unfaithful to God and ignore his only begotten Son, Jesus Christ. The people have lost faith and they are living in the shadow of evil and darkness by disobeying the Savior who paid price for each one of us and sacrificed his life to give each one of us eternal life and resurrection. God has given us this beautiful life in order to be faithful to him and live our lives according to his commandments and have faith in his promises. When we closely observe and meditate, we will understand the love and compassion of God to each one of us. In the creation of God, the only unfaithful and disobedient being is human person. The human person had always evil intentions in his heart and the human person always questioned the Creator and challenged God and his existence and blasphemed against God and sinned. The human person had become evil because of his worldly beliefs and attractions. After resurrection, we have seen the first witness by Mary Magdalene, then to all the disciples, the disciples of Emmaus. While they were talking about this, Jesus himself stood among them 
and said to them, Peace be with you. They were startled and terrified and thought they were seeing a ghost. He said to them, Why are you frightened? And why do doubts arise in your hearts? Look at my hands and my feet. See that it is I myself. Touch me and see. For a ghost does not have flesh and bones, as you see that I have. And when he said this, he showed them his hands and his feet. Why in their joy they were disbelieving and still wondering, he said to them, Have you anything here to eat? They gave him a piece of broiled fish, and he took it and ate it in their presence. Then he said to them, These are my words that I spoke to you while I was still with you, that everything written about me in the law of Moses, the prophets, and the Psalms must be fulfilled. Then he opened their minds to understand the scriptures. And he said to them, Thus it is written that the Messiah is to suffer and to rise from the dead on the third day. And that repentance of forgiveness of sins is to be proclaimed in his name to all nations, beginning from Jerusalem. You are witnesses. These things, my dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, the world that we see is just a temporary. All the promises of human person will not lead us to the eternal life. But the promises of God will give and lead each one of us to that eternal life and resurrection of our bodies on the last day. That is why we need to have strong faith in Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God. My dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, let us ask God's blessings on our families, our society, and on the world that we are suffering. Lord Jesus Christ, send your spirit upon this suffering world. Lead us to the joy of peace, happiness, and strong faith in you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Almighty God bless you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.